Sergeant Pecker here to address a common keyboard commando myth, which is, if you get hit in the head with a bullet, it's going to break your neck, even if the helmet stops it. Well, this is about as true as a 50 cal bullet shockwave killing you because it came close. A bullet's momentum is almost directly proportional to the amount of recoil that the firing event generates. So, that 16-inch projectile from an Iowa-class battleship will certainly wreck your neck, among other things, but most common rifle rounds will not. Neck injuries are typically caused by high-mass, low-velocity, high-momentum events. Think of getting hit by a Mack truck or tackled on the football field. Ugh. Don't take my word for it, though. The National Research Council's Board on Army Science and Technology estimated after a review of various testing data that the risk of neck injury upon impact from a 7.62 by 54 mm rifle threat is less than 0.1%. The board estimates it would still be under 25% for a 50 cal threat at current helmet aerial densities. So it's safe to say even us skinny bird necks are safe if you keep your dome piece on. Let's watch this lab test of a 7.62 by 39 impacting our ATE ballistic helmet with our up armor attached. As you can see, the actual acceleration upon impact is minimal. I know what you were thinking. If most rifle rounds have low momentum, why are they so good at killing then? The thing they do have a hell of a lot of is kinetic energy. The energy is what gives bullets their killing power. Stopping that power is exactly what modern helmets do. Upon contact with a helmet shell, the kinetic energy of the projectile is expended through damage mechanisms such as fiber breakage, matrix cracking, delamination, fiber buckling, friction, and conversion to heat. These mechanisms result in helmet shell deformation, which can result in injury if the shell comes into contact with the skull. For this reason, most military test protocols mandate that helmet backface deformation can measure no greater than 25.4 millimeters. Don't worry, I'm going to address a few common keyboard commando myths about ballistic transient deformation, more commonly referred to as backface deformation in my next video. In the meantime, if you want to learn more, be sure to check out our blog post on this topic.